hello friends welcome back to the course tutorial so in this particular video i am going to cover about the new feature uh, taken uh, provided by the wago where it is exposing its whole memory of the plc's all set of plc's to be allowed to run the courses runtime so now we will not be seeing the uh, e-cockpit runtime in the configuration but it will be courses runtime v3 or it will be the uh, runtime which we are going to install so in order to do that we need to upgrade the firmware so uh, now uh, nowadays uh, Vago is providing all the software into the download center Vago.com and from there we need to download this particular firmware which is for the PFC so, so firmware version which we need to download is the 24 okay it has a dependency that it will be uh, uh, supporting from 18.2 of the codices okay so when we click on the download we have to fill a form after filling all the details when we click on the download it will start downloading the firmware so for all the software whatever it is there we need to fill this particular form to get it okay so i am utilizing the wago upload uh, software to update the firmware so this particular software is also there in the download center which we can download so earlier if you remember we used to do the firmware upgrade using memory card and putting that into the plc but this all things has been uh, made it easy using this particular software so we need to provide the ip address of the plc we need to connect it with it and then we need to select the firmware basically so the pfc runtime firmware which we have downloaded so once uh, we go to the folder where we have downloaded so this is the firmware we have to select we cannot select the image image will be for the uh, memory drive memory disk we would select wp and then we need to select click next so we need to follow uh, the steps and then it will uh, take around uh, 20 to 25 minutes to update this firmware so here it is happening fast because I have increased the rate of uh, speed. Now once uh, the firmware got uh, updated, uh, we can connect to the uh, uh, PLC using uh, the web server. So one thing you should always take care is uh, always back up all your uh, items from the uh, PLC because when, when we upgrade the firmware it remove all the files okay so right now you see I'm not able to scan any of the hardware even if it is connected so what we need to do is we need to go to the web server management of the uh, Wago PLC so let me open it So it is default one when we upgrade the firmware it is admin and Vaco, the username and password and if you see the firmware has been upgraded. So we need to go here PLC and select by default it will none. We need to select with codices V3 and click on the submit button. Once we have updated this runtime version here after clicking on the submit then uh, this will get updated and now we will be able to scan so let me first also download uh, the device description of the Vago so I can show you that when we have only selected the uh, runtime as Cortis V3 we cannot uh, utilize uh, the runtime of the Cortis which is provided uh, by the like a PFC 200 so Vago itself is providing their own device description file for all of their PLC which we can download from their download center and once it is downloaded let's go and create the project so if you see I have uh, installed all those device description and then you see all the PLCs of the Vago is getting displayed here so I am using uh, PLC as uh, PFC 200-8212 so I am selecting that and creating the project. 
so my plc is pfc 200 8212 so once i create a project so it comes with the default this structure here the plc runtime we need to always check that it is selected once we do then we have to we will be able to scan the plc and we need to put the admin uh, password which is admin and vago it is same here also for the user management and then we can download so in this way uh, with the device description of vago we can be able to connect with the plc so all the licenses and everything uh, will be there as it is uh, by default coming with the plc so that we need to check uh, io scan we can do directly on the k bus okay and then the com port because this plc has a com port also so if you see it is still coming with the vago okay so in order to uh, install the code this runtime we need to go to the update pfc 200 and then we will get this option okay so we need to provide root login and password and then we need to click on the install so install button we need to select the version which we need to install and it will start installing this runtime into the plc so it will take some time to get it installed so once uh, this particular runtime which we want to install uh, get into the plc after that uh, the whole setup will be changing to the for the code series runtime for the pfc 200 with the runtime version what we have installed okay so in this way uh, means we can utilize both so when if we don't want to use code series runtime we can use uh, vago device descriptor if you want to use uh, code says runtime then we need to install this particular runtime so now if you see uh, you will get the details of the package so it is installed with 4.8 and then uh, i have created the project so i will select that particular application okay and go to its device description now when we scan the plc will get scanned with that and if you see the version is coming as a target version 4.8 so for the device screen it was coming as 6.1 and it is it was named as a device was for the vago but here it is 4.8 and the target vendor is the codices so this is how it changed and uh, when we log into the uh, web browser the web browser will also get uh, updated with the codices icon instead of vago it will come as a codices icon and you will not see the option to select uh, between courses with C and the none and by default it will be showing in the PLC runtime as a runtime which we have installed which is uh, 4.8 so uh, this is how exactly we can now uh, utilize the Vago PLC for the courses uh, uh, runtime so and also at the same time if you don't want to use this runtime we can utilize it for uh, Wago device descriptor. Thanks for watching. That's all for this video. Uh, see you in the next one.